was handing YouTube another wild situation. Let's get right into this. So real quick, man, I came across this video of Lil Rob. He did this interview, right? Bootleg Kev podcast. Shout out Bootleg Kev. He over there doing this thuggy, man. Salute to that brother. And you know what? Salute to Lil Rob, too. Because Lil Rob never really disrespects anyone, bro. Lil Rob always been respectful. But it just seems like he always getting getting crossed up in the crossfire when it comes to this north and south thing now what he said on the bootleg kev podcast that uh you know it didn't go it didn't go too well for him at a concert in san francisco i did a story just like this where the same thing happened in stockton but before i get into that check out what little rob said in this bootleg kev interview and then we're going to talk a little bit more about it after everywhere <laughs> there was the car show girls every i mean it was wild what is like the craziest lowrider show story you got because those things got pretty gnarly and like i mean it in a really good way but it was yeah. it was great yeah well i guess uh i guess uh low rider show that i had done i guess up in uh san francisco mm. yeah the cops made me put a bulletproof vest on wow yeah because there was some, some threats going on and uh but i had uh neighborhood music of summer nights and so i went up there to go perform that for them and then uh you had th was the threats just the Southern California, Northern California yeah, yeah, politics? Yeah, but, but I got no problem with any, anything like right. that. I mean, I'm, sure, I'm there to show everybody a good time, man. You know, when I, when I'm on the stage, I rock a brown bandana, represent Brown Pride, and and that means you know like, that means hey, everybody, man, everybody, man. You no matter I mean? where you're I from, I ain't tripping. You know, what I mean, I ain't, I ain't doing that stuff. So, um, so yeah, just uh, bottles being thrown at me and stuff like that. It was kind of crazy, man. They threw bottles at you. Yeah, they threw some soda on me too. I threw a couple of soda on my hat. My brim was dripping. Uh, Oh man! Dripping, uh, whatever, but you know, it's not everybody, man. It's just a few people that that might act that way, man. So it's I got, I got to show everybody. you this. So yeah, man, you hear what he said? He said he done got the, you know what I'm saying? The bottles thrown at him. See, my thing is, he bring up the San Francisco incident, which I heard about it too, and I heard there was another incident in San Jose, and I believe somewhere in the Modesto area and TC area. Like it seemed like everywhere Lil Rob goes for a show in Northern California, it don't end well. Look, man, I'm gonna keep it a hundred with y'all though. Summer Nights, slap. Summer Nights is a classic, bro. Hands down, point blank, period. Summer Nights, the song by Lil Rob, is a classic. It's a hit. The ladies love it. For me, homie, it, like, it reminds me of like, because you know, I was young when that song came out. I'm going to keep it a honey. But it reminds me of like, you know, old family barbecuing in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? The old Vettelanos back there. Everyone chilling. The old drunk Thea's dancing to it. You know what I'm saying? It reminds me of good memories with family. It's a, it's a classic, bro. It's a Chicano classic. It's not even a Chicano classic. It's a classic song, period. It's like a, a, a you know, that lighter shade of brown song. It's another one of them, bro. Classic. And whether you like Lil Rob, whether you like his music, where he's from, you know, North, South, all that, right? Regardless of all that, the song's a hit, bro. It's an instant, it's a classic. <laughs> but I find it funny that uh, he mentioned the San Francisco situation where he said, you know, he got beer thrown at him, bottles thrown at him, soda thrown at him. But he didn't mention the Stockton situation. The Stockton situation got a little bit more tricky. The Stockton situation was a wild situation. I mean, when I, you feel me, though? When I say a wild situation, Gotti, I mean a wild situation, though. Like, you hear me, though? Like, look, check this out. They had to escort dude out of the San Joaquin County Fairgrounds. If y'all know where Stockton's at, y'all know Southside, Charter Way. Like, as he went to Charter Way, bro. That's North Daniel headquarters, first of all. That's where the San Joaquin County Fairgrounds is at. Right there off airport, and he went there to perform. Okay, you know, Southsiders were there, of course. You know, the upstate, the the northern, um, northern Sudanios were there, and it got spunky. It got real, real spunky. Dudes were beat up. Dudes were stabbed. Dudes were, like it was ugly, bro. Dudes later on that night ended up getting shot. It it was bad. It was not good. It was not a good look. It was not a good look. This is a fact, bro. Little Rob had to be escorted out of the city. So where Charterways at? There's a freeway. 99 or the i5 either way which way you go left or right he had to have a police escort there was so much chaos being taken place at this time and i want any any other interviewer any other podcast that has little rob on their podcast for an interview please ask him about the stock this situation because it seems like he never wants to bring up this situation ever but everyone knows that was there at the time even the northern serenios that was there know what time it was and i'm not saying that um 
Every northern Serenio that was there got their ass beat. You know, there were some northerners that got knocked out, too. There were some northerners that got stomped, too. You know, it happens. You know, it's a riot. It's a rumble. People are drunk. People are getting, you know, people are sloppy. People are getting knocked out left and right. But, like, if I'm going to keep it real, you know, of course the northern Serenios are going to be outnumbered. And, of course, they're going to get the shitty end of the stick. And that's just the way it goes. Especially in Stockton. If you guys want to hear the real in-depth detail about it, I'm going to leave a link to the video I already dropped on it in this video so go ahead and check it out man but please if any other youtuber i know bootleg kev bootleg kev said he watches my channel sometimes a lot of other youtubers watch my channel podcast people watch my channel if y'all interview Lil rob ask him about the stock situation not to steer nothing up but like, you know i'm saying like let's just keep it a honey and i'm gonna keep it a honey too i fucks with Lil rob summer nights now that's pretty much the only song i ever heard of him Beside the one I think I put in this video right here. And I didn't even listen to the song. It was on mute. I just edited it, chopped it up, cut it. You feel me? To where I'm able to put in my video and edit it that way. But yeah, I think Little... I mean, I might have heard some other songs by him. But I think Little Rob Summer Nights is the only song I ever heard of him. And it slaps. <laughs> like, you feel me? If that's the only song I ever hear Little Rob for the rest of my life, I'm cool with that. Because that's a, that's a classic. Now, I don't want y'all to cap. Y'all from Northern California, don't cap, bro. Keep it real. Give Little Rob his props. You feel me? Give Lil Rob his props, bro. Summer Nights is a classic. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It's the...